Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we're going to go over the envelope tool in Corel Draw. This is another interactive effects tool. It's used to shape objects. Both vector and bitmaps will work with the envelope tool. We're going to go over the basics in this session. Let's take a look at this. Here's the properties bar. We'll scroll down and one thing we'll want to be aware of, the envelope tool and its lines, which are the blue dots or its line segments and its nodes, work exactly like the lines and nodes of vector objects but are used to shape objects in Corel Draw. Here I have an envelope and here's some text that has an envelope applied to it. And if I come over here to what would normally be the drop shadow and the interactive tools come down to envelope, that will appear. I'll zoom in and you'll see here I have a cusp node set to curve. Those are grayed out in the property bar. That means that is the state of this node. Now just like working with vector lines and nodes, when I have the envelope tool I can left click you see turns to the shape tool and I can edit the line segments and the nodes and the shape of the objects or object if I have multiple objects, I can work with objects, or if I just have one object, I can change that shape just like working with vector and the shape tool. And I've got kind of a slope or wavy look here. I can double click to delete an envelope node. I can double click to add an envelope node just like working with the shape tool. I have a right click contextual menu just like the shape tool and I can shape this object or if I had several objects in the envelope to an entirely new shape than what I started with with the basic text. So it works just like the shape tool. You can shape things any way you want working with the envelope tool. I'll zoom out here and here's one on a bitmap that I had applied and apparently lost that one. Now if I go and start to move this, you can see the effect on the bitmap. You come here and click on this, it'll automatically apply an envelope to that. I'll double click and delete this node. Come down here and double click and delete this node. Come to this cusp, pull that up, pull this one down with the control handle from the control arm Come down here, do the same, pull that up, pull this down, and I could pull this in this way and start to get an entirely different look for that bitmap of the flag in Corel Draw. Now the envelopes also have presets, and there's a couple of different ones, and you can add your envelopes to the presets, just click plus. And that would then become a preset. You can also delete them. Here we have the settings for the selection mode, which is regular or freehand. You can add nodes. If I click this, that'll add a node like it did just there. You can delete them. And you can also change all of your node and line states. You can also select an object and I'll go to this text here and you can go and select create envelope from so you can create a vector object and use that as your envelope 
and I could go up here to create envelope from that will change the arrow come down here and click on this vector object and you can see that that shape was converted to the envelope for that text so that's how you do create envelope from and you can create your own custom shapes with vector objects in CorelDRAW and then create envelopes from them. Take a look at a few things here just so we got some pointers on working with envelopes. Here I have a craft beer design set up. And down here in this banner I have the word festival. And I want that to be in there perfectly and I don't want to fuss around with a lot. So what I would do is I would create a rectangle as you can see here, and I'll delete this. I'll just create another rectangle on that banner and make sure I'm about where I want to be on the start and finish, which would be right there and right there, right? Then I can go to the Smart Fill tool and click on that and Smart Fill that. Now I have that object. I can go to the contour tool and we have tutorials in this training series on the contour tool and the smart fill tool. This is a very comprehensive course for beginners. Now with this object, I'll come over and I'll give that no fill and a black outline with a right click, left click, fill, right click, outline. I'll zoom in, I'll go back to my interactive tools, I'll go to the contour tool left click hold down pull down this way go to right about maybe right about there and then I'll hit the space bar to go to the pick tool come to the contour object right click on that and select break contour group apart or I could hotkey control K I'll break that apart select now it's gonna be a difficult selection so I'll click off and then I'll just click here and delete the object that I made with the Smart Fill tool. And then I'll zoom down here to my Festival text, select that. Then I'll go to the Envelope tool, go up to the Property bar for the Envelope tool, go to Create Envelope From, click on that, and I will have created an envelope for the Festival text that fits perfectly into the banner. And I'll bring this up here and we can just put that in position. Zoom in and we can see that's absolutely in position. We might want to just move that around a little bit there. And tweak it a little bit, but we were able to set up that envelope using the smart fill and the contour without going and doing all of the handwork of working with the line segments and the nodes with the envelope tool. So you can see how that works. And then I'd be able to apply that directly into my design here where I have the banner and it's perfect. Got done fast and I didn't have to do as much work. Now for the South Shore text that's got an envelope also that I did manually. I'll go ahead and delete that and I'll bring the South Shore text up there and we'll zoom in. I'll resize that a little bit right to about there. Center that over the design go to the envelope tool I'll just lasso these two nodes they're set to the smooth state delete those left click and arch this up just like working with the shape tool and vector curves do the same thing here left click from the bottom arch that up about the same lasso these two bottom nodes select them left click hold down control to constrain so I say vertically straight then come here and push up from the center on the bottom one to create an effect of going from wider to thinner to wider in that envelope. So that's the envelope tool in CorelDRAW and you'll find it very useful for many different things in graphic design. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next video session.